Throughout this journey, I'd kept hearing about the Home Birth Consensus Summit, a gathering of all the stakeholders in maternity care. Doctors, midwives, policymakers, insurers, and administrators, all brought together by Dr. Saraswathi Vadam, with a simple purpose in mind. Home birth is happening in the United States, and so how can we address our shared responsibility and make it the best it can be, given that it is happening? And acknowledging that we have different approaches and ideas and attitudes and comfort levels with this. There still, you know, certainly must be a way forward. So the focus on, of this session is on ethics, and that will probably invariably <coughs> mean that some issues about safety and data will come up. We all know that people disagree on those data. So please, no throwing tomatoes over data. Okay? <laughs> I would like to hear the panel discuss uh, the ethics of how birth options are presented to women in this country. In Canada now, I am obligated as a midwife, by law, to offer all birth settings. And that means that whoever walks in my door has an option. After 25 years working in the U.S., Sarah Swathi now works in British Columbia, Canada, where the system has become much more integrated. If every time you have a normal birth at home, the entire system is aware, it changes the, the uh, idea of what planned home birth is about. If, you know, most of the time we call, she delivered, she delivered, she delivered, and once in a while we call and say, we need to come in. When you have an integrated system, everybody benefits. Not everyone in the U.S. agrees, but there is a growing voice from some OBs who are advocating a more integrated system of collaborative care. You can either choose to cooperate and collaborate, or you can shine. I, you know, we have been shining for a long time, and I, I think we, we know what that, what, what that does. We are trained to um, accept patients and continue to treat them, um, no matter whether we agree with um, the way that they make decisions about their health care. Why do we think so differently about pregnant women from how we think about people in general? Why do you think so different about what pregnant women owe their fetuses as opposed to what normal people owe each other or even parents owe their children? Because we grant parents tremendous freedom to make their own decisions in parenting, including decisions that we consider to be bad. Shared decision making is a process that goes on when you have a relationship and a trusting relationship with a provider. They understand your cultural background. And we are falling down on the job by not ethically truth telling about what's really going on with with maternity care in all settings. Saraswathi was right. It's not just home versus hospital. It's about quality maternity care. But quality maternity care isn't equally accessible. Yeah, we haven't talked about the fact that prenatal care in the United States of America is not a human right. That right now we have to acknowledge that you can't just up and get prenatal care. You belong to certain groups, you literally will be told, go away. Don't like the way you look, don't like your insurance, don't like your money or lack of, I don't like you, go away. Our goal is to have everybody be able to access high quality maternity care and what is high quality maternity care? That's what we have to define now.